Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented. They're tough. And they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment. And coming from me, that means something. Ford and Dawkins are still great athletes with tons of personality, but now they've made hurting people their business. And quite frankly, Byron, it's a necessary evolution for Dawkins and Ford. These two are ready to make the jump to the all-time greats of the tag division. intense competitors in all of WWE about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. We say it time and time again, but the Street Profits really are a team that love to have fun. They love to get the party going, have a good time. True, true, but don't get it twisted, Cole. Ford and Dawkins' high energy can translate into some absolute intensity when they really get going. And boy, we should expect them to get going in this one, guys. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. Sent into the corner. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Frog splash. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Able to reverse that one. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Whoa, stiff headbutt. Tagging his partner in now. Look ringside now, guys. This manager's doing something very suspicious. Oh, straight forearm. Solo reverses and looks to capitalize. Big heel kick. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. He's looking a little off balance. Intense offense, as always, from the enforcer. So ruthless. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. From the top. Oh, misses the mark. He's 
been placed in the corner now. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Double hip toss. These two do it so well together. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Flapjack. He can do it here. Shoulder up before two. He couldn't make much of that. Oh, no, it's roll up. He's able to kick out before two. He's far from. Oh, my God. Using the elbow to escape the attack. But sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. Uh oh! Duncan's attack gets reversed. And finds a counter. Dawkins with a spear. And into the count. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. So ruthless. Sokoa got him in his sights. He's got him scouted. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Setting up. Attack gets reversed. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Uh oh. Turning the tables there. Really? Uh oh. Dawkins with the reversal. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Boom. Kick to the face for your troubles. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? with a hip toss. No desire to quit. 
Setting up for something here. Planted face first. Tag. Sokoa putting his opponent on notice. Oh! And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. There he goes, right into the corner. Series of reversals. He turns it around. Knife edge chop. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Caught by the back of the elbow. Double underhook. Into the neck breaker. Doc is on the verge here. Two. No, he beats the count. I don't know how he just kicked out. And I'll tell you what. I don't really think he knows either. Well, you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Oh, vicious headbutt. Just caught flush. Jimmy Uso tags in. Set right into the corner. Ball into the blockbuster. Does he get it here? A kick out at two. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this match to end. Gotta hurt. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Oh, fuck that. Gosh, landing face first. Blast off. Jimmy Dodge is out of that. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. The WWE Universe is absolutely on fire right now. I can barely hear you, Byron. I'm loving this. Got the majority of that on the face, and now Montez is cut open. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. Not the position you want to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. Will be ended here. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Vice-like grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. He went right in. Tag made here. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing Montez can do now. The cover. Oh, but how? How? This is where desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Sets him up. Will Jimmy seal this up? The cover. He wins. He wins. Here are your winners. Jimmy Uso and Solo Sikoa. The Bloodline. 
The Street Profits are reeling after tonight's difficult loss. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight. Offering a handshake, classy move. Oh, or... <laughs> what an ego! And... Oh, oh, that ego oh. got paid for. Hey, they should have known better than that. Come on. Tension so high between these competitors. Imagine what they're going to do to each other tonight. And now with things underway, it looks like we'll see if that show of disrespect we just saw has any bearing on the outcome of this one. You don't have to like it, Cole, but you have to respect it. Well, I don't like it, and I definitely don't respect poor sportsmanship in WWE. How is that poor sportsmanship? We aren't here to help, we're here to fight, Saxton. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, straight forearm. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Ooh. to the floor. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. The WWE's resident spitfire, Caden Carter, really doesn't make it easy for her opponents to find an answer to her high energy. While Carter does have incredible energy, I argue things are a bit different for her here, Cole. She isn't used to the pacing of singles action, and that might leave her vulnerable this time around. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Specifically targeting the leg. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Oh. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. And Niven is showboating right now. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. And it's the ref who takes a hit there. Things might be getting a little out of control. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. Niven turns the tables. Getting tossed. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Tearing down the leg now. A huge target on the knee after that. Great strength being shown here. Ooh, has to shot to the throat. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Oh, no. Now, Pac 
possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Yep. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. What now? Belly stop. Oh. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Steer clear of that. That offense really hitting her hard. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, had that well scouted. Has an answer for Niven. She slides her back to the mat. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. From the top. She certainly took a chance there. yourself something tells me we're going to be hearing a I told you so for quite some time pulling off this upset I know they made a point earlier on to show that they had no respect for their opponent but come on after a match like that how could they not well they still beat them it seems more like they were just proven right Saxton Corey you know just how much a true competition like that can change things I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. A yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent he's proud of his past in the united kingdom in europe but now he looks to conquer the world listen we have seen a newfound intensity lately from big e and that is gonna make this night very troublesome 
for this superstar. Some of the most positive and energetic superstars you'll ever meet. The New Day. No one gets the crowd fired up like the New Day. And his opponent, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E. You know, the only thing worse than this pancake and unicorn parade is that I know for a fact these guys are going to launch their clothes at me. <laughs> Don't be a negative Nancy, Corey. That's just part of the fun. It's not fun. And they need to fire whoever's doing their laundry. Oh, look out, Corey, look out. Bate calls himself the big strong boy despite his size. Gets the message across. Bate exceeds all expectations as a much bigger threat than he may appear to be. Yeah, Bate may be built like a cruiserweight, but he... And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Looking to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Jaw-shattering boot. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Uh oh, this is just vicious. No, no. Oh, no, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. That's right, baby. Arm ringer applied. Yeah, right. Arm ringer finger snap. Probably going to be feeling the effects of that for the rest of the match. Hurled away. God. We didn't expect that. You don't see someone of their size get handled like that too often. Back suplex on the apron. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Into a power bomb. Turning off right by our announce table. Tyler Bate, a young competitor who has already accomplished so much, does that make him harder to defeat? It absolutely does, Cole. Bate has the confidence and stamina of youth. He's taken much bigger superstars to the limit, but the longer the match goes, even he starts to run out of steam. If you want to beat him, you have to be ready to outlast him. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oof. It looks like the powerhouse of positivity got a bit rocked. Flipping that switch right away. Clearly, he thinks he's in the driver's seat. Compromised position here. Down on the windpipe. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. He gets the shoulder up in two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. And he's out of there in a nick of time. him with the counter. Oh, he fights bait back. Ooh, brutal body shot. These two are clearly fired up going blow for blow. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. 
Who will break first? That is the question. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Ooh! Oh, man, the shot's raining down. One after another. Switches it into a reverse DDT. Measured knee drop. Cover. Shoulders are down. Biggie digging deep for the kick out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Watch out. Uh -oh. Suicide dive. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Uh, Tyler Bank with a standing shooting star. You've solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. And Bate still finding the energy to remain on the attack. This is Bate reminding everyone of the fighting spirit he possesses. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He needs to find his way back. In From the top. Diving headbutt. And now Big E is under immense pressure. Bate is absolutely unloaded. Look out. Can't quite get him there. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time powerbomb. The powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of them. Uh-oh. Real European uppercut. Nice counter from Big E. Looks under, his go behind. German suplex turns the tides. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Lands the elbow. This could be big, going up high. From the top, he misses the target. Short flight, but a Landing. Close line. So effective. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Stop at the stop at the stop. Put it in position now. And he gets set back into the ring. Big E may be thinking high risk. From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. And Bates steers clear there. Nice drop kick. Make it twice. They are rolling here. Ducking out of the way and delivering the cross body. Uh-oh. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Dominating shoulder tackle. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pain window. And Piggy picks up the win. Here is your winner. Big E. Chalk up another one in the win column for Big E. And there you have. Another rocket victory for the powerhouse Big E, and the WWE Universe is loving it.
This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. We have seen before what Dragunov is capable of, and it is scary. And this dude's been called the Unstoppable Czar. A title that he has earned due to his supreme physical conditioning. We've also learned that Ilya Dragunov has a volatile temper inside the ring. You're right, Byron. That's a trait that Dragunov has used to his advantage. Yeah, there is no putting out the fire that burns inside of Dragunov. Here he comes, the best in the world. And he's not here to make friends. He's here to make money. CM Punk made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. Punk possesses a lethal combination of fighting styles, and he's going to need it tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Punk is always ready for a fight, and he proclaims he is the measuring stick until someone proves him otherwise. Elliot Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out to his competition. Yeah, there's Relentless, and then there's Dragunov. He doesn't care what toll this match takes on his or his opponent's body, just as long as he comes out on top. A man driven by a relentless fury who attacks without hesitation. Ilya Dragunov is ready to fight here tonight. But we all know there is no stopping CM Punk when he is determined. Yeah, he may be blunt, he may rub certain people the wrong way, but Punk is always itching for a fight. Not that CM Punk thinks he needs it, but any words of advice for the veteran competitor, Corey? Stick with what has brought you to the dance. Strike with your innovative offense every chance you get. And the hesitation to deliver an attack ends up being costly. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Countered by CM Punk. Big knee to the midsection. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Ooh, knee to the jaw. And the bulldog. 
sleeper hold, cinched him, and breaks out of the sleeper. Punk plants him with a Uranagi. Seamless transition into the Anaconda Vice. This one could be over. Uh, he's in complete control. A uh, couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. And that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. Ilya is certainly Whoa. raising the intensity. Oh, just throwing their body. Crashing down with the senton. He's able to sidestep there. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Uh-oh. Dragon off really showing what he's made of here with that power and intensity. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Their competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Check your face out to that one. Gets reversed on CM Punk. Torpedo Ilya on the cusp of ending it. That's gotta be it. Two count. No, my, that was close. You can't forget how defiant Punk is. You might throw your best at him, but he'll still keep getting up. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. Forearm to the kidneys. Ugh. Back with a rebound. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Way to steer clear. Slowed over neck breaker. Picture perfect. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's a... Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading. Fade. And. Out of the sleeper. Springboard and misses on the springboard. Boom. The mad Russian lining it up. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Uh oh. Closed fist punch to the jaw. That's one way to break a move. And that attack could be devastating for Dragunov. Yeah, CM Punk has to be contemplating how to end things here. Oh, strong impact! Oh, an overhand punch. Oh! Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Now goes opponent looking to finish it here. Go to sleep. Dragunov is out. That's it. There's two. And he's still in the game. The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this thing. Oh, took his best shot. Gave him everything he had. He just couldn't get the pin. Allen just busted open Dragunov. from Dragunov. Tossed into the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. He takes control. 
Oh, ouch. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give has been brought to the table. Work the mop. And a suplex. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Isolating the leg! Leg breaker! Big impact! Momentum is in the cover! Oh, what a big celebration and a massive win for this man tonight! Hard fought victory, incredibly physical matchup, but this man has earned the right to celebrate here tonight. Wait, this is more fun than celebration. Oh, this from behind. More fun. This is classless. Why is he doing this? Now into the steel steps. Come on. Uh, trash talking as the bell rings and we're underway. Oh, oh, no. down. That poor ref. I mean, it's blatantly obvious the superstar didn't do it intentionally, but the official's down, and now anything truly can, he goes for the quick pin attempt. But the ref can't get there to start. Oh, that gets reversed. Into the cover. And our Oh, wait a minute. Turns the leverage for a pin of their own. We might have already had a fall if the referee wasn't out of action. He's not giving up that easy. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Oh! He got whipped into that corner. Corner and a couple back elbows to follow. Close line. He deflects it right back. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. And that hold 
Paul's theory back. Corey, look at Paul is taken to this business like a fish to water. How do you get the better of a naturally gifted competitor like him? Well, you're right. Paul has taken to the ring intrinsically, and he has a lot of natural instinct that serves him well. But his beginner's luck has to run out somewhere. So be patient and smart with your attacks. Make Paul look like the beginner he is. Locks in the gut wrench. Suplex! Dropped with a suplex. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Right now he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. on top of reversal. Insulting. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. And that was a well-executed attack. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Lining it up. Ah, oh, caught on the chin. Tagged with a punch. Theory is becoming a bloody mess in there. Theory's hopes are waiting, but Theory can't allow this rush to discourage him. Over the top rope into a Larian. Now he may get the three count right here. This is it. That's it. Logan Paul gets the win. Here is your winner, Logan Paul. I don't see how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did winning, more like surviving. And considering what they did to survive, I don't see it as very fulfilling. When surviving means you get your arm raised at the end, Here comes trouble in the form of damage control. You're right about that, Saxton. This is one of the most dangerous groups around. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion, Attitudes and personalities aside, Damage Control is one of the most impressive factions we have ever seen in the women's division, ever seen in WWE at all. 
They are arguably the most decorated team to ever be in WWE, too, Michael. That's where a lot of the attitude comes from. A team of winners all coming together for a common goal, taking over the women's division that they so clearly belong on top of. Could that be it? Kai, Bailey, and Sky about to take what they want. Gigi Dolan ready for a fight, as always. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. She came up the hard way and has constantly faced adversity. Worked hard for everything she has, and she's not going to stop now. And the thing about Gigi is she is tenacious, sometimes even vicious, when she's backed into a corner. Bailey wants to make an example of this woman. She needs to do everything she can to stop that. She needs to be the absolute best version of herself here tonight. There's the bell, and Gigi Dolan is ready for singles action. The one thing about Dolan, she's not afraid to put her body on the line. Not afraid to push the limits to get where she wants to go. And where she wants to go is straight to the top. Tonight is the next run on the ladder of her climb. And over in the opposite corner, Bailey is clearly ready to attack. Of course she is. It doesn't matter if you love her or you hate her. You can't deny that Bailey lives and breathes this business. And for that, she is forever and always a true role model. Goodness gracious. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Right to the leg. Stopping down. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. The vicious streak of Dolan's being put to the test there. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna happen. On time bomb. She avoids the contact. Counter. And now there's an opening. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Right to the spine. Uh-oh. Poison Rana. It's hard to forget the athleticism it takes to pull off some moves, but a Poison Rana is a great reminder. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. combats out of that series of elbows looking to create separation she does so oh oh close fist connects This is why it's good to have a manager. It's good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do and will introduce any tool to produce victory. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it. Very hey, about to channel her inner madness. She comes up empty. Gigi Dolan with a Russian leg sweep. The octopus. What is she going to do here? Is she going to tap out? No. Able to slip underneath and deliver some blows. Bailey in full control here with a Bailey Plex. German suplex. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. 
An all-out attack from Bailey. Bailey's at her best when she leaves the niceties at the door. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Break the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Oh, she counters right back on Bailey. GG Dolan. What is she looking for? Here, tied up for the GG driver. GG has her on Dream Street. And an effective pin. Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. Taking flight. All the way to the outside. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Once again, our women's division is putting the whole industry on notice with a match like this. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Bailey avoids the assault. Oh, man. Six. And gets tossed back into the mat. Right to the back of the leg. Rose plant. Dolan's got to dig deep now. Shoulders down. Got a kick out. She's not done yet. Unreal. Unreal to kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. Bailey feeling like she was just robbed of the opportunity to gain the fall. Bodies have been decimated. Gigi Dolan has her opponent off. Tied up for the GG driver. Gigi has her on Dream Street. Two, three, no, a two count. I don't know what you have to do to keep Bailey down, but you better reopen the playbook. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. Beautiful athleticism. A side slam. Just one step ahead. With the Larian. Tremendous. Uh oh. Had it scattered and met with a back elbow. Dolan finding an opening. Oh, man. What a nasty STO. Bailey is now under pressure. Bailey's being cut off at every pass. Boom. Nice. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Two. Three. She's cutting her off there. Smart strategy. Boom. Throws her back in from ringside. What now? Oh, yikes. A stomp to the guts. Up high. Seated bionic elbow. She had it scouted. As the arm bars stretch in. Oh. And Bailey has taken a lot of damage in this match. Bailey's in danger here. Dominating shoulder tackle. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. <laughs> oh, an elbow drop and then play the knee strikes. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Gigi's in a daze. Could be over soon. <laughs> Bailey delivering the kick to the plant. <laughs> Has Bailey ended it there? Is it enough? The cover! <laughs> what a win for Bailey. Here is your winner, Bailey. Bailey is victorious. The role model leaving the night with all the much deserved glory.
This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun Breaker! We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. Ships Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron. If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. This man's opponent has winning embedded in his DNA. A major test when facing off against Braun Breaker. The second generation sensation, Braun Breaker, looking to continue making his family proud tonight. Breaker has really been focused on forging his own path, creating his own legacy here in WWE. He's done the math, and he knows it spells disaster for anyone who dares get in his way. But across the way is the new and improved Baron Corbin. After many tribulations, Corbin has rediscovered his edge and reforged himself. He's done messing around and demands to be both feared and respected by his fellow superstars. Yeah, Corbin is now a man with a purpose. He's a driven and merciless individual who sees every match as a chance to put his foot down. And a driven Baron Corbin makes for one scary opponent. Toss back into the ring. Well-delivered suplex. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Superstar showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Well-framed standing moonsault. A move like that is what sets you apart from other superstars. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Power, strength, speed, agility, athleticism. Braun Breaker really does have all the tools to be at the top of this business. And when he puts it all together, Cole, there are few men in this company who can really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. That's why he's got a great chance to win tonight. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. He's lost some of his win now. Uncorked a big punch. How quick was that? Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. And it's 
Let's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, put down face first. Boom, what a punch. I see a cut, too, on Corbin after that. Face oh. drop. Now watch the precision with this strike. Done. Cover. Two pushes through after two. Wow. Corbin Dodd is that? You hear the talk in the locker room. The anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh! Just Ron Breaker, his strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. The military press into the power slam. And that can vanquish Corbin. What a win. How impressed were you guys? Well, I was incredibly impressed by this superstar who... Uh, oh, oh, hang on, gentlemen. This superstar has entered the chat. A great deal of history between these two. And tensions are rising. Here he is, a champion twice over. Wow. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the world heavyweight champion and the NXT champion, the Viper Randy It's got to be twice as nice carrying around two titles. I don't know, Saxon. That's a lot of weight to carry both physically and mentally. The target on his back is now twice the size. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books. The LWO is in the house. It's cool until you say and his it. opponent, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Escobar is supremely skilled, taking his cues from Mexico's greatest lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes.
No, oh, getting set to take on the Apex Predator, the Viper. One of the greatest of all time. This is going to be a rough night for him. They call Randy Orton the Viper, always coiled and ready to strike on his opponent at a moment's notice. And think about this. Early in his career, Orton was praised for his natural in-ring ability, for how effortless it was to be the most dangerous competitor around. He now has over 20 years of experience in this business, and things are still effortless for him, and he's even more dangerous. You can't discount any of that, Corey. Orton is not someone to be taken lightly at all. And Escobar is looking to fly out of the other corner with the heat. There are very few holes in Santos' game, and he knows when to flip that switch to ignite his afterburners. When it comes down to it, Corey, Escobar has an offensive repertoire that's difficult to contain, no matter who you are. Fallway slam! It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. DDT! And Escobar can't create any new tradition if he's taking hits like that. Yeah, Orton showed there that he still hasn't lost his predatory instinct. Rapid fire right hands. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Whoa. Escobar turns it around. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Hurricanrana. Randy Orton has been at the top of the food chain in WWE for years now. Is his opponent just more prey entering the Viper's den? While Orton is still as dangerous as ever, his focus can be brought into question. Doesn't happen often, but sometimes the Viper will lose sight of his goals. If his opponents can capitalize on those moments, we'll see the Apex Predator become the prey. The Apex Predator is showing no concern for his opponent. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Saw that one coming. And just that quick, the Viper can turn the tides of this matchup. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Three. No. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. He gets out of the way. Randy's tapping into that place, unleashing the full might of the Apex Predator. The Vipers lined up his prey. We know what's next. He is looking. Oh, Escobo couldn't avoid the big shot. Two. And this one is over. Here is your winner, the Viper. away with the win you can never count the viper out and we just saw why once again here tonight
Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak well versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true Broad Street bully. He's back at NXT. A man who has completely transformed himself mentally and physically. Really uh, went through a resurgence and a rebirth when he returned to NXT. Had a new attitude. McIntyre now laser focused. Continues to dominate everything in his path. First, from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. The man once known as the Chosen One, always doing what he can to claim and prove he deserves a top spot in WWE. Well, Drew has reached the mountaintop and knows how good that rarefied air can be and he will do anything to stay there. Well, we know Drew is rarely ever in a good mood, and I got a feeling he's about to take out that bad mood on someone here tonight. Prepare to see a heavy, hard-hitting affair. The monster of all monsters is here. And... From Shiro's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. I'll tell you this much, the monster of all monsters is more than just a nickname. This monster has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with every giant in WWE and slain them all. Ability. One of the biggest and baddest to ever step foot in WWE. With these three superstars, it's going to be interesting to see where this triple threat matchup goes. Competitors set for action with Drew Gulak. Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. Planted with a neck breaker. Uh oh. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Look, I know it may sound cliche, but with triple threat matches, you've always got to keep your head on a swivel. Always got to know when to pick your spot. Even if you form an alliance, it won't last. That's just the nature of the game. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. And a bad landing. Caught with a DDT. Go for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. And that damage to the shoulder could be an ongoing factor now. It might limit range of motion in the entire arm. Bringing a steel chair 
power into play here. McIntyre counters with power. Boom, neck breaker. Big forearm. And hey, now, my God, what a forearm. Right to the jaw. Over to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Set up the side rush and leg sweep. And Strowman couldn't get his hands on him to prevent that move. Yeah, Gulak put a little extra oomph into that one. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Get him into the corner. He finds a counter for Gulak. And now he may be planning to turn this match into his very own home run derby. Makes him pay with a counter. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Stops the count. No, oh, McIntyre. Oh, man handling his opponent. This Drew McIntyre. Caught with a bit. Will it be? And he only stays down for a one count. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Wicked chop block. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. He skirts around it. Oh, swung for the fences. Able to elude it. McIntyre looking. Drew Gulak has it cinched in the Gulak apply. And he breaks the hole. Boom, running FTO plants him. Shoulders down. Withstanding the onslaught of the two other superstars to stand tall and have their arm raised here and now. A win like this sends a message. Send two superstars, send three, send four, heck, send a whole army. It's only going to be an uphill battle for the competition.